Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial 6.5 and now I know you're all saying um, what, why is it gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 then 6.5 well the reason is as you're watching this video I currently have up I think it's 36 YouTube videos to do with Unity 3D tutorial series which is you're watching now and um, as I upload them all, it, I didn't upload them all at once, I spaced it out but nobody noticed and my, um, a subscriber of mine called Bob Billy noticed and popped up and said on one of your um, tutorials, tutorial 6, um, the enemies have no collisions and then in tutorial 7 the enemies can destroy, they've, they've got lives and everything so it's like how did that get there and I've been looking through and I've, really, I've realised that as I've cut the video up and put it together to get rid of the mistakes so it's all nice for you I've cut out the enemy collisions, so this tutorial is going to be just a quick 5-10 minute tutorial, I'll put it in between, um, so if you just come from tutorial 6 and click the annotation, you are hitting the right one, and if you're watching this video when you've already done all the series, I'm sorry, but you've probably already done this, but then another tutorial's up just to compensate for that, so yeah, so I've made reenact the level where it should be, so if it looks any different, don't worry, I haven't changed nothing, it's the exact same as what you've got, just looks different, that's all, so if like you've watched tutorial 6, it looks different, it's lighter, it's darker, it's bigger, it's more, don't worry about it, it's, everything is the same, so so in theory you should have an enemy, so I have an enemy and I've got my main character. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is make it so when we shoot with our main character, so I've, played, I've set all the buttons out the same again, and when it loads, we can shoot as you all can see. So if we at the moment shoot this guy, nothing happens, it just bounces off him. That's not what we want, once it's to destroy him now. Um, any later tutorials, I think it's around tutorial 10. To 15 we give him life but in this tutorial we're going to make it one shot kill that's it so if you want to keep it like that you can do it but yeah so what you have to do is go into your scripts folder and create a new script first and we'll call this um, enemy collisions yep and that's it so we've got two functions function start which runs whenever the script loads so whenever this the uh, the game starts loading the objects properties in the inspector here so when it starts loading these it will load it then um, if you want it to load it as soon as the game starts put a wake but yeah and function update runs every frame which you know but I'm gonna actually delete the function update but keep the things there so we can just change it and I'm gonna type on here on collision stay and what this does is every object in our most objects in here has a collision or a collide. This has a box collider. Character has a character con co controller, which is its collider. And Deathstroke has a box collider, as you can see. The only things what don't have it is our main camera and the directional light, because we don't really want colliders on them. But yeah, so what we're going to do on collider stay does is when it, whatever object we attach this to, so object A is this we attach the script to if any object hits object a and stays there for a split second it will run this so by split second for f people who aren't from my country um, basically it means instantly if someone hits it and stays there for longer than bouncing off it it runs this so I'm just gonna space it out and what we do is in these brackets here is what you don't use the know is in here you define variables um, so up here we'd use the type of var then put it in, but in here we don't need to. So what we're going to do is type in col, and then what is col? Col is going to be a collision, like so. And what that basically does is creates a variable called col and makes it a collision. So a collision is when two objects hit each other. So when two colliders hit each other, it creates a collision, like a car accident. Two cars hit each other, you've had a car collision or a crash. So you could don't change that to crash but yeah so this call will basically be whatever object hits it so object B so on collision state will be on object A and call will be object B so we're going to attach this script to our enemy at the moment so we'll go to Deathstroke and attach enemy collisions to him there so as you see it's attached to him so he's object A object B is going to be our fireball now what we usually do is we need a way to define what call is, else if we we can walk our character straight up to him and he'll just die. 
that's not what we want. So the best way to define it is by looking at names. Um, you can also use tags, but I haven't covered tags yet. I will be covering tags in a long, long time because I don't use them myself, but yeah. So if we just click play and leave full screen mode off, and we walk around, if we shoot and click pause quickly, as you can see, our fireball has been created, but it's not called fireball like our prefab is. It's called Fireball Clone. And the reason it adds clone onto it here in the name is because basically it just means it shows you that it's a prefab, it's been changed. So what we're going to do is copy the name and unpause it. Um, and what we're going to do is basically now say if object B or call, we'll call it call now. So if our enemy is hit by the call, we need a way to define what call is. So we'll type if object dot name so now we're going if the collide colli second collision or object B's uh, game object name and then we put two equals one equals for settings so if we wanted to set the name we'd do it like that so we want it to be fireball clone if we wanted to say is it we put two so now that we've done that it'll basically it says again if object B's dot name is fireball 2 which it is then what do we want to do we want it to kill the object so we'll type destroy call dot game object so if we left it like that it would destroy the call so the call for us is our fireball so if we shoot it should just destroy the fireball which is what we want for now so we shoot and destroy there we go so at the moment though we can't kill him what's the point of that so the easiest way to do it is if you want it to keep destroying the fireball, keep that in. If not, duplicate it, well, change it, I'm going to keep it in, and just get rid of the call and keep the game object. And what that'll do is destroy the game object this script's attached to. So we try it, and now we kill him, and the fireball and him will die. And fire. Boom. Gone. That simple as that. So that's it. Sorry for the accident sorry for watching you do it I actually can't believe none of you actually picked it up on it but I didn't mean to put it in but yeah so thank you big thank you to Bob Billy I know you're a good subscriber um, I'm happy to help you all the time and see you later